Right, it's all set to go. My wife doesn't know what ancestry food I'm going to give her, but here you go, honey. You're 1% of Irish. This is called Kipper's Eggs and Toast. <gasps> ah! She found out that she also has some Irish in her. Uh, she wanted something that's Irish, so instead of corned beef and cabbage, I'm going to make her some scrambled eggs, toast, and kippers. So kippers are herrings that are cleaned and butterflied and then smoked. And they're in a can, obviously. This comes from Germany. But mostly they're eaten by people in Great Britain, like Ireland and England. All right, going to scramble up the eggs. I'm going to make these like a famous British person, uh, Gordon Ramsay. I'm going to show you how Gordon Ramsay makes his scrambled eggs. They're really good. Let's also get the kippers ready. So these are also cut and butter, butterfly, they call it. So it's one giant herring, deboned, gutted, and it's in oil. And it's butterfly, meaning it's split apart. And this is called, they call these kippers. I'm also putting in my wife's uh, toast so the scrambled eggs go on top and with butter and then the scrambled eggs and then the kippers so I'll, I'll show you me putting it all together okay the pan is hot so we're gonna put in some olive oil cooking spray and then I'm going to dump in the scrambled egg mixture It's just two large eggs. Okay, the way you want to make it is you want to have it on a little bit more than medium, so medium high heat, and you're going to keep it stirring the whole time. Right after I put it in, it starts cooking. And with this recipe, you cannot be afraid to lift it off the heat while you're stirring, because with this, you do not want to overcook it. Okay, we'll put it back down. The next step is once it's cooked for about 30 seconds, you want to add a clump of butter in there. And let's stir that around. And you're gonna get that all mixed in with the eggs as it melts. Again, I'm gonna lift it off the thing because I don't want to overcook it. Ooh, that smells great, eggs and butter. All right, now for this last secret ingredient. All right, the last ingredient is actually a little bit, maybe a tablespoon of sour cream. So I don't want it to overcook, so I'm actually gonna turn the heat off already. And then stir that all around. And trust me, the sour cream and the butter takes these scrambled eggs to the next level. You really have to try them. They are delicious, for sure. All right, now let them sit there for a couple seconds and they get my wife's toast ready. Oh, before I do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a touch of pepper, if I can get it. <laughs> there we go. You do not want to add salt while it's cooking. It'll make your eggs runny. Okay, see how they're nice, light, light, light and fluffy? And they're not burned on the bottom? That's the way you want the eggs for this Kipper's Eggs and Toast meal. Okay, I got my wife's toast ready. So I'm going to put a little butter on her toast. She don't like too much. There we go. The next step is that you're going to put the scrambled eggs on the toast. These are so creamy and fluffy. And you can be a little messy if you want. They don't have to all fit on there perfectly. Mm. 
get every little last drop. All right, now I'm going to warm up the kippers. All in the right, pan. the pan is still um, has a little oil in it, so there's some oil in the kippers too. And we're just going to dump that in and let it brown on one side. Of course, it's kind of can shaped because it came in a can. I had turned the heat. It's still on medium. And if you want to, you can also put a little, a little pepper on here and a little salt. Not too much though. All right. All right. So the kippers do have a tendency to stick to the pan a little bit. Oop, gonna turn them over. There we go. I believe you could eat these right out of the tin, but it's nice to have them a little warmed up. So now I can kind of cut them up as I cook them on the other side. The skin and everything is normally left on these, which of course my wife loves some fish skin. <laughs> All right, let's get ready to make our plate. All right, I'm going to take the kippers and you just put them on top like that. And believe it or not, this is something that Irish, English, British people will normally eat for breakfast. My wife, though, is going to get it for dinner. I figured my wife likes breakfast for dinner sometimes, so let's uh, give her some of her ancestors' food for her dinner. <laughs> there we go. Let's see how she reacts. All right, it's all set to go. My wife doesn't know what ancestry food I'm going to give her, but here you go, honey. You're 1% of Irish. This is called Kipper's Eggs and Toast. Ah! <laughs> Do you need a fork? You're just going to eat it like toast. That's fine. All right, sweetie, why don't you scoot over and I'll sit next to you. Since uh, people complain that I'm not on the videos and just you. Really? <laughs> no, I'm just pretending that they care. They don't. Mm -hmm. Mystery of life, I have found you. All right, time for mine. I love the onions and the carrots. And I also love a little butter on the bottom of mine. I'm going to get a lot of the onions. A lot of the meat. There you go, that's Big Daddy's bowl. <laughs> All right, here we go, honey. I got my dinner there. You got your dinner. Let me come around. Oh, yeah, finally. As thousands of fans demanded, actually no one, but anyways, thousands of fans demanded that I eat on film too, so. Here we go, I've got my stew. Oh! No, it's just stew. But I do love Cajun seasoning, it's so good. I haven't had this in forever, so I'm probably going to act like Mark Weens when I eat it. Hold on a second. Let me fix the camera. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, here we go. I'm going to get a little bit of meat, a little bit of uh, potato, a little carrot, and a chunk of onion. And then I'm going to dip it in to rehydrate it, as my man Mark would say. Let's see. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't you love that guy's show? He's the best. We're both scheduled to get our booster shot next week. Are you excited about that, honey? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Look, she already ate one of them. She did not like me pulling her plate away. Mm. I tell you, their steak is good. But the, uh, something about the onions in this broth with the seasoning. I don't know if y'all have this brand. But there it is. <laughs> it is so freaking good. I'm sorry I'm not a saint. I actually uh, drink beer with my dinner. Sorry. 
Hopefully that doesn't upset anybody. I'm going to try some crackers like my kids like inner stew. I'm going to crumple mine up a little bit. Mmm. It's good. I'm telling you, that seasoning with the onions, though, is nice. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This is really good for um, winter time, cold, rainy nights. It's really filling and good. And you can make a huge pot of it. And literally have a, you could feed a village depending on how big your pot was. She's almost done. See, I'm here blabbing while my wife's taking care of business. True Samoan with Irish in her. <laughs> I have to try to make her a meal from each one of her. My dog don't like me talking. From each one of her uh, ancestry DNA things. So next time, I'll probably try to make her a Tongan. Or, uh, what is it, Scottish? Mm hmm. Um, and something Dai, D A I, from China. But she loves Chinese food anyway, so. And also, um, uh, Maori. So tell me in the comments, what do Maori, what is a traditional Maori dish that I could make here in America? And I will have, uh, my sweetie pie try to eat it. <laughs> wow, my wife finished that so good. You like your Irish ancestor food? Mm-hmm. That good, huh? You feel like uh, finding shamrocks and uh, drinking Guinness now? <laughs> <laughs> Mwah. All right. Thanks so much for watching and support our channel. We bless you and love all the subscribers. Not that, <laughs> that many of them. The dog gives you a woof woof too. <laughs> woof woof. <laughs> woof woof. <laughs> she doesn't like that. So... Thank you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, <laughs> comment, and uh, hit the little bell. Until next time, peace out. Fat. What are you barking about? What are you barking about, sweetie pie? You wanted some of mommy's Irish kippers and toasted eggs? Mommy ate it all. Poor and Maka. Poor Maka Did baby. She, she ate some of the fish. And she ate a big chunk of stew meat. Oh, she's such a good girl. Yes, you are.